Christopher George Lador Wallace, better known by his stage names The Notorious B.I.G. and Biggie Smalls, was an influential American rapper and songwriter. Born on May 21, 1972, in Brooklyn, New York City, Biggie grew up in the Bedford Stuyvesant neighborhood, which would later feature prominently in his lyrics. Biggie's early life was marked by hardship and involvement in street life. He dropped out of high school at age 17 to pursue a career in music, having developed a passion for rap from a young age. His talent for storytelling and wordplay quickly gained attention in the local hip-hop scene. In 1992, Biggie caught the attention of Sean Combs, also known as Puff Daddy, who signed him to his newly formed label, Bad Boy Records. Under the guidance of Combs, Biggie's career began to take off. His debut album, Ready to Die, was released in 1994 to critical acclaim and commercial success. The album's lead single, Juicy, and its follow-up, Big Papa, became instant classics and helped solidify Biggie's status as one of the leading figures in hip-hop. Biggie's music was characterized by his distinctive flow, vivid storytelling, and introspective lyrics reflecting on his experiences growing up in Brooklyn. He often rapped about the struggles of street life, the allure of wealth and fame, and the consequences of violence and crime. Despite his success, Biggie's life was plagued by controversy and conflict. He became embroiled in the highly publicized East Coast-West Coast hip-hop rivalry, particularly with Tupac Shakur and his label, Death Row Records. The feud escalated to violence, claiming the lives of both Tupac and Biggie in separate drive-by shootings within months of each other. On March 9, 1997, Christopher Wallace, aka The Notorious B.I.G., was shot and killed in a drive-by shooting in Los Angeles, California, at the age of 24. His murder remains unsolved, fueling conspiracy theories and speculation within the hip-hop community. Despite his tragically short life, Biggie's impact on hip-hop and popular culture is enduring. His influence can be seen in the careers of countless artists who followed in his footsteps, and his music continues to be celebrated and revered by fans around the world. In 2020, the notorious B.I.G. was posthumously inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, cementing his legacy as one of the greatest rappers of all time. The musical journey of the notorious B.I.G., also known as Biggie Smalls, is a tale of talent, perseverance, and tragedy. Here's an overview of his journey through the world of music. 1. Early Influences and Beginnings Christopher Wallace, aka Biggie Smalls, was born and raised in Brooklyn, New York, in the neighborhood of Bedford Stuyvesant. He grew up surrounded by the vibrant hip-hop culture of the 1980s and was influenced by artists such as LL Cool J, The Fat Boys, and The Wu-Tang Clan. Biggie started rapping as a teenager, honing his skills in local freestyle battles and showcases. 2. Discovery by Sean, Puff Daddy, Combs, Biggie's big break came when he was discovered by Sean Combs, also known as Puff Daddy or P. Diddy. Combs recognized Biggie's raw talent and signed him to his newly formed record label, Bad Boy Records, in the early 1990s. Under Combs' guidance, Biggie began recording demos and making a name for himself in the New York City rap scene. 3. Debut Album, Ready to Die In 1994, Biggie released his debut album, Ready to Die, which catapulted him to stardom. The album received widespread critical acclaim and commercial success, showcasing Biggie's impeccable flow, lyrical prowess, and vivid storytelling. Tracks like Juicy, Big Papa, and One More Chance became instant classics and solidified Biggie's status as one of the greatest rappers of his generation. 4. Rise to Prominence With the success of Ready to Die, Biggie quickly became one of the most prominent figures in hip-hop. His smooth delivery, charismatic persona, and relatable lyrics endeared him to fans across the country. Biggie's influence extended beyond music, as he became a cultural icon synonymous with the gritty streets of Brooklyn and the hustle of urban life. 5. East Coast-West Coast Rivalry Biggie's career was overshadowed by the infamous East Coast-West Coast hip-hop rivalry, which pitted him against West Coast rapper Tupac Shakur and his label, Death Row Records. The feud, fueled by media sensationalism and personal animosity, escalated to violence and tragedy, claiming the lives of both Biggie and Tupac in separate drive-by shootings. 6. Legacy Despite his untimely death, Biggie's legacy looms large in the world of hip-hop. His posthumous releases, including albums like Life After Death, 1997, and Born Again, 1999, further solidified his status as a rap legend. Biggie's influence can be heard in the music of countless artists who followed in his footsteps, and his lyrical prowess continues to be celebrated by fans and critics alike. Biggie Small's journey through music is a testament to his talent, resilience, and enduring impact on the world of hip-hop. Though his life was cut tragically short, 
his music lives on as a timeless reminder of his extraordinary talent and larger-than-life persona. Tupac Shakur and Christopher Wallace, the notorious B.I.G., became two of hip-hop's most notable icons amid an infamous rivalry that continues to hold the attention of fans more than two decades after their deaths. The East Coast-West Coast beef still resonates today, history of rap and hip-hop author Soren Baker says. There were many factors behind the complex New York vs. Los Angeles turf rivalry that heightened between 1994 and 1997 and ultimately lead to their deaths. The beef had everything to do with competition among record labels, media coverage, gang culture and two artists with a talent for rhythmic comebacks. Tupac and Biggie may be synonymous with the rivalry, but it existed, in a sense, before they hit the scene. There was always tension, there was always resentment, rather, among some folks on the West Coast for the resistivity from New York DJs and artists to West Coast hip-hop, says Dan Charnas, a music history associate professor at New York University's Clive Davis Institute. With New York City being the birthplace of hip-hop, artists from LA felt they weren't given the same media coverage and public attention as those on the East Coast, says Baker, a former hip-hop journalist. They, West Coast, artists felt that when they came to New York, they didn't receive the same acceptance and admiration as when New York artists came to LA, because the West Coast's, artists, were more popular, simply from a sales perspective, than anyone at the time on the East Coast, Baker adds. The Labels the producers behind West Coast's Death Row Records, Dr. Dre, Suge Knight, and East Coast's Bad Boy Entertainment, Sean, Diddy, Combs, helped fuel the competition as years passed. The LA scene got a boost when Dr. Dre joined forces with Suge to launch Death Row in 1991, the same time Power 106, KPWRFM, branded itself as a hip-hop-focused radio station with its slogan. It wasn't until two years later that Combs branched out into the business with Bad Boy Entertainment in NYC. Rapper's Demise. After short-lived yet successful careers surrounded by controversy, both Tupac and Biggie were shot and killed not long thereafter. Tupac was critically injured in a drive-by shooting on the Las Vegas Strip and died on September 13, 1996. Biggie was shot and killed on LA's Miracle Mile six months later on March 9, 1997. While both cases remain unsolved, loyal fans and industry influencers still believe the East Coast-West Coast beef is to blame. It's one thing for a record label to promote an artist who promotes violence. It's another thing when that violence becomes real and affects people, Baker said. It's not just entertainment anymore. The notorious B.I.G., whose real name was Christopher Wallace, was killed in a drive-by shooting on March 9, 1997, in Los Angeles, California. He was struck by multiple gunshots while sitting in a vehicle after leaving a party. Despite being rushed to the hospital, he was pronounced dead shortly thereafter. The circumstances surrounding Biggie's murder remain unsolved, and investigations into his death have yielded no conclusive results. Like Tupac Shakur's murder, Biggie's killing has sparked numerous theories and speculations, but no arrests have been made in connection with the case. Biggie Smalls fathered two children before his untimely death in 1997, daughter Tiana, born August 8, 1993, and son Christopher George Lador, born October 29, 1996. Tiana's mother is Biggie's ex Jan Jackson, while C.J.'s mother is Biggie's ex wife Faith Evans. Biggie married singer Faith Evans, his first and only wife, in August 1994. They had only known each other for eight days after meeting at a bad boy photo shoot. They welcomed their son, Christopher C.J. Wallace Jr., in October 1996. However, their marriage was tainted by rumors of Biggie's alleged extramarital affairs, including his romance with rapper Lil Kim. Biggie was born and raised in Brooklyn, New York City. He was raised by his mother, Valletta Wallace, after his father left when he was two years old. Biggie grew up at 226 St. James Place in Brooklyn's Clinton Hill, near the border with Bedford Stuyvesant Biggie and Kim met when they were teenagers growing up in New York City, and he played a huge role in her personal life and musical career. Kim was part of the junior MAFIA, the Brooklyn-based group assembled by Biggie, and Biggie ghostwrote a lot of Kim's future material. The pair became involved in an infamous love triangle with Biggie's wife, Biggie went to George Westinghouse Information Technology School in downtown Harlem, the same school that Busta Rhymes, DMX and Jay-Z. The first arrest was in 1989 for carrying a loaded, unregistered firearm. Other arrests were for selling drugs, robbery and assaulting two autograph seekers. The longest Biggie spent in jail was nine months.